Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to finish harvesting up the strawberry kush and we'll be starting a new run in the recirculating deep water culture system. Okay guys, so uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been on here. Uh, let's go back to last week. We'll see the harvest of two of the final strawberry kush. All right guys, so we got the uh, deep water culture strawberry kush caught down. And uh, there we have a nice bouquet shot. Pretty big plant really um, for an inside plant. Even though the buds aren't super huge, there's definitely a lot of them. And uh, like I said, super sticky, super frosty. Love the colors on here. Love the purples, reds, and uh, yeah, she smells super amazing. Really sweet, like candied strawberries with some earth tones and uh, a bit of a gassy smell as well. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hang this up behind me. And we have one more plant to chop down. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we got the deep water culture uh, strawberry kush cut down and hanging up and we have one left to go and that's this one here i love the colors on this the the yellows the purples the reds uh just just beautiful i really enjoy those fall colors and she's definitely ready to go as well trichomes are all cloudy just a hint of amber and uh she's ready to go now i did find a couple of buds last night that had a little bit of bud rot um, which was down here so I cut that off and there was also a little piece on the very top right there the rest looks pretty good so I'm really happy to be taking these down look at those colors beautiful so I'm gonna have to go around we did LST this one down so I'll have to go around and uh, get rid of all those pipe cleaners and then I'll chop it down we'll come back and we'll take a bouquet shot and see how she looks okay guys there it is look at that wish I could get it all underneath the light for you we'll pull this light out a little bit beautiful beautiful colors nice even flat canopy and uh, we can see here we can see here some of the LST training that we did we bent her right over at this point and then she grew back up straight pulled these branches all down to make that even canopy and uh, turned out great Again, the smells on this, candy sweet, and uh, this one is more sweet than the, uh, the deep water culture one, so just a little different phenotype. So I finished this one off with General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom. Uh, she had started off with Gaia Green in, in Promix HP, and then in the end I just wanted to give her a boost, and I think it really did help by giving her the, uh, the Maxi Bloom nutrients. Um, nice fairly dense buds not as dense as the ones in the deep water culture but not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and we'll hang this up with the other one so there we have it the uh, tall one that was in the deep water culture beside the uh, the shorter flat one that was in in the pro mix with Gaia green finished off with general hydroponic maxi bloom now the deep water culture one I forgot to mention the nutrients I used for that was the Green Planet uh, three-part nutrient, the Veg, Micro, and Bloom. So I used that, and it worked pretty well. Got some really nice, solid, hard-ass buds on here. All right, so there we have these two plants. Now we have one left, but she's not quite ready. She will be ready to go by the time this video comes out. So we will fast forward to that point now. All right, so we got two down. There's one left, and that's ready to go today let's take a look at her there she is and she is ready to come down i didn't water her last night so she's looking a little parched but uh really nice fall colors coming out on her i did find as well i found a couple of uh buds that had some bud rot uh one was right here and the other was right there so i removed those a couple of days ago uh, the rest seems fine now it's kind of strange to me that they got bud rot where the uh, humidity in here is actually only around 30 percent so 
Perhaps I just didn't have enough airflow in here. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But uh, anyway, a couple of uh, top buds there. Not too bad of a problem. Still a fair bit left. So we're going to go ahead and take that down now before we start uh, transplanting into the deep water culture for the next grow. So I will cut it down and I'll pop back on for a bouquet shot in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, so there we are. The very last of the strawberry kush. Uh, beautiful smells, man. The, uh, the terpene profile on these, uh, they've all been just super great. There's been different phenotypes. Uh, you had the tall ones in the deep water culture ones and the shorter ones, but the, uh, the terpene profile is pretty close for all of them. It's all like a candy sweet strawberry smell with a little bit of gas smell to them as well, but very pleasant, very pleasant. So this was grown in ProMix HP, uh, fed with Gaia Green organic nutrients. And then for the very end, the same as the other one, we had finished up with General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom uh, just to finish it up. And uh, that seemed to work pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up and we're gonna start our next grow. Uh, they will be some Platinum Girl Scouts cookies. So let's get at that. All right guys, one other thing I wanted to do, we're gonna take a look at the root ball in this deep water culture bucket. This was the much bigger plant. This was also the plant that I had started in a solo cup with ProMix HP. And then I just inserted that into the basket with some uh, expanded clay balls on top. Now I had a lot of people say, no, get that out of there because it'll, it'll keep it too wet or the dirt will fall off, ruin your, ruin your pumps, stuff like that. And I thought that was a very good concern. So with the one that we harvested there last week, I did do that. I pulled it back out and I cleaned off the root ball as much as I could, put it back in. That one seemed to stunt right after that. So uh, this one I decided to leave it alone. Uh, we can see here it still has the ProMix HP there. Uh, it had a bigger stock than the other one. So let's check out the root ball. It was a bigger plant, so obviously it's going to be a bigger root ball. Oh yeah, that's pretty heavy. Okay. So there we go. There's our air stone. Uh, I ended up replacing the air stones and also the air pump. Uh, the pump that came with the system just wasn't very strong, so I replaced it with a stronger one. But uh, yeah, that's that's a solid root ball. So I'm going to go and dry that out. And uh, the last one, it ended up falling on the ground outside when I was drying it. And Jazz, my dog, decided to uh, disassemble it pretty quick. So anyway, uh, quite interesting. We see one really big root down there. Um, I only got one hand or I try to pick around with that, but it is it is pretty solid. Uh, I know it's wet, but it's it's pretty heavy and it uh, it filled quite a bit of this bucket. So there we have the root ball in the deep water culture. Uh, I didn't find the soil in there made any mess at all. Uh, didn't seem to inhibit the uh, the growth at all. Uh, there's plenty of roots coming down here all healthy and uh, yeah, so with the ones I'm going to replant into this, they were clones I got from a friend. They're also in solo cups. So uh, I'll be doing the same method on this one as I didn't find it was uh, it caused any problem. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the other one. But uh, there we go. There's a pretty good look at the roots of the strawberry kush in deep water culture. And one other thing that I wanted to end on is the lighting. Now we started these two plants here under the new upgraded TSL 2000 by Mars Hydro. Uh, great light, that's when the, uh, the plants were in the two by four. Um, I ended up having to put them back into the two and a half by five just for the extra size. And once I got it into the bigger tent, the TSL was still okay. It, it seemed to cover it pretty decent, but I did want something a bit stronger, something with a little bit more penetration. So I went with the SP6500 by Mars Hydro and uh, finished it off in flower with that. This is a beast of a light. This is on low right now. Uh, I just have it on because I'm gonna be doing some work in this tent, getting it cleaned out. But, um, this is a beast of a light. This light could easily do a five by five. And even then you have to have the height because it's just too strong at close levels. Anyway, that's what we grew this on. 
and uh, yeah they did pretty good so that was my first time growing deep water culture so I'm gonna try it again uh, I think I did learn quite a bit with that first run as far as uh, nutrients and, and pH and, and stuff like that so uh, uh, definitely gonna do another run um, gonna be starting with the new pump right away uh, that pump puts out multiple times more air than the one that came with the actual kit that I got here. So I think we can do a much better job this time around with the Platinum Girl Scouts cookies that are going to be going in here. All right, guys, let's jump back to the main video. All right, so here we have the uh, recirculating deep water culture system uh, still set up from last time. Now, I didn't change too much. I did add a bigger air pump. Uh, to give it a little bit more aeration in the water keep them roots nice and oxygenated and uh, I'm going to be running the Mars Hydro SP 6500 uh, for this run I used this to finish off the last of the strawberry cushion here uh, I decided I'm gonna run this the whole time because I really like the penetration so I can leave it up really quite high and where the temperatures are dropping here in Nova Scotia well they've dropped they've dropped pretty quick by being able to leave it up high and turn it on higher, I, I can use this to help heat my house. So I kind of have a couple of reasons for using this light, the extra heat plus the extra light penetration. And uh, it's just a super badass light. So we're gonna continue to run that again this time. Now I am changing one thing. I thought I wanted to try something. I don't know if it'll work well or not. But uh, instead of using the Green Planet three-part system for nutrients, which worked pretty well, I can't complain, but I wanted to go with something simpler. And what I've been using since I started this channel way back has been General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom in my soilless media grows. That's what I've always used. I don't use the, uh, the veg nutrients. I just go with the Maxi Bloom. And uh, there is nitrogen in it. It's always been enough in my other grows. I want to see if that's enough for this. So it's kind of like the Lucas formula where we're just going to cut out everything else and just use the bloom nutrients of this series. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I have everything mixed up now. I have the pH is at around 5.8. I have the EC at right around 1, uh, which is about 700 ppms. So we're going to give it a go. Now let's take a look at the plants that we're going to be putting in it. All right, so there we have them. Uh, they've been in these cups for a while now. They're ready to get out. And these are Platinum Girl Scouts cookies. Now I got these as clones from a friend. Now one thing, and I had I kind of dropped the ball on this, which it happens. This side here, this one here, this one had actually went into 1212 for uh, probably a week or more. And what happened was, as we can see, we'll go a little closer here. It had actually started to flower. This was a while ago when I figured out what I was doing and I've removed them. They've been in 24 hours of light since and uh, they started to re-veg. Now we can see the single leaves here and if we come down here, we can see, see just a, a, a tangled mess in here. We got some little small curly leaves which are indicative of a re-veg. Uh, but if we also, if we look up here at the tops, we start to see the three fingered leaves coming out again. So she's pretty much come through her re-veg back into full veg now. So I think it'll be fine to plant that. We're gonna plant both of these. This one's been in 12-12 for uh, quite some time now, probably. I can't even remember how many weeks I've had these just waiting for this opportunity. So uh, anyway, I'm sure they're ready to get out of these into some nutrient rich hydro. Uh, they should blow right up pretty quick okay so here we go now last time i had did the deep water culture i hadn't planned ahead and i had them in solo cups with promix hp what i had done originally was i took it out of the cup put it in the basket with some expanded clay balls on top and a lot of people had commented uh, bill you got to get that soil off there that that peat moss and uh, perlite or else it's gonna mess things up. Well, I did on one of them. I took it back out, rinsed all the roots off, cleaned off all the uh, the promix and the peat moss and replanted it into the clay balls. And um, yeah, that one didn't do so well. The last one, which we just seen a bit ago, uh, that was much bigger, it grew much better than the other one. Uh, the promix, the peat moss, all that stuff didn't cause any problems in the system. Uh, the roots had just grew out everywhere 
and completely encased all this pro mix and perlite and nothing dropped down into the uh into the reservoirs and uh so i'm going to go ahead and do it again because my friend he planted these ones and uh but to be fair they're they are in uh, rock wool cubes but i put them in the cup because i knew they were going to be in here for a while so anyway i'm going to plant them the same way as i did last that last one we just cut down and uh didn't seem to be an issue and i don't think it'll be an issue this time so we're going to go ahead and squeeze around the cup loosen it off a little bit now i am going to tip it over here now i don't mind losing some of this perlite up top and and uh whatever's loose is fine so we got a nice root mass there even at this point you can't see much of the the pro mix and stuff through that root mass anyway once it hits this hydro system that's just going to explode and come out everywhere like the last one did so they should be fine so here we go we're going to just stick it in here these are the same uh, clay balls I used last time. Just rinse them off, and uh, they should work. They should work fine. So we'll go ahead and just fill up all the way around here, and we'll kind of heap it up around there. There we go. So there we are. We have number one. We're gonna go set that into its respective pot. And then we will come back and do the next. All right, so we have that one planted. So we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing. Pull it out of the cup. We'll let anything that drops away, we'll let that go. We can see the Rockwell cube that it was in and the root mass that's already there. She's, she's pretty compacted there right now. So she should love getting into this and then be able to uh, stretch her wings, so to speak. So I'm really curious to see how it does with this uh, General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom. Um, should be able to see results here within the next week. It should be able to uh, throw her legs down there and uh, start spreading out. All right, so I'm going to take this one over again and put it into her uh, into her final pot, and then we'll take a look at them in there. Okay, so there they are. They're all ready to go. I've got the water level just up to the bottom of the basket, so that uh, the water can be absorbed up into that root mass. And uh, they should start throwing them back out and down very soon. So be sure to come back next week and see see how these guys are doing. And uh, hopefully by next week we should have all the seedlings up. And uh, we'll be able to make a decision when to transplant them into their final pots as well. So thanks for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to Mars Hydro for sponsoring this show. And for all their great products. Anybody interested in any of Mars Hydro's products. Feel free to check out the link in the description. Use my code BWARD. And you can save a little bit at checkout. And I'm pretty sure they still have some Black Friday sales on. So be sure to check that out too. Great time of year to be buying equipment is that Black Friday. So check them out. And use my code on top of that to save even more. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.